Algae, Wikipedia article audio. Algae is an informal term for a large, diverse group of photosynthetic organisms that are not necessarily closely related, and is thus polyphyletic. Included organisms range from unicellular microalgae genera, such as chlorella and the diatoms, to multicellular forms, such as the giant kelp, a large brown alga which may grow up to 50 m in length. Most are aquatic and autotrophic and lack many of the distinct cell and tissue types, such as stomata, xylem, and phloem, which are found in land plants. The largest and most complex marine algae are called seaweeds, while the most complex freshwater forms are the carophyta, a division of green algae which includes, for example, spirogyra and the stoneworts. No definition of algae is generally accepted. One definition is that algae have chlorophyll as their primary photosynthetic pigment and lack a sterile covering of cells around their reproductive cells. Some authors exclude all prokaryotes and thus do not consider cyanobacteria as algae. Etymology and study Classification Algae constitute a polyphyletic group since they do not include a common ancestor, and although their plastids seem to have a single origin, from cyanobacteria, they were acquired in different ways. Green algae are examples of algae that have primary chloroplasts derived from endosymbiotic cyanobacteria. Diatoms and brown algae are examples of algae with secondary chloroplasts derived from an endosymbiotic red alga. Algae exhibit a wide range of reproductive strategies, from simple asexual cell division to complex forms of sexual reproduction. Algae lack the various structures that characterize land plants, such as the fill lids of bryophytes, rhizoids in nonvascular plants, and the roots, leaves, and other organs found in tracheophytes. Most are phototrophic, although some are mixotrophic, deriving energy both from photosynthesis and uptake of organic carbon either by osmotrophy, mysotrophy, or phagotrophy. Some unicellular species of green algae, Many golden algae, euglenids, dinoflagellates, and other algae have become heterotrophs, sometimes parasitic, relying entirely on external energy sources and have limited or no photosynthetic apparatus. Some other heterotrophic organisms, such as the apicomplexans, are also derived from cells whose ancestors possessed plastids, but are not traditionally considered as algae. Algae have photosynthetic machinery ultimately derived from cyanobacteria that produce oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis, unlike other photosynthetic bacteria such as purple and green sulfur bacteria. Fossilized filamentous algae from the Vindhya Basin have been dated back to 1.6 to 1.7 billion years ago. The singular alga is the Latin word for seaweed and retains that meaning in English. The etymology is obscure. Although some speculate that it is related to Latin algra, be cold, no reason is known to associate seaweed with temperature. A more likely source is alga, binding, entwining. The ancient Greek word for seaweed was phi kappa omicron which could mean either the seaweed or a red dye derived from it. The Latinization, fcus, meant primarily the cosmetic rouge. The etymology is uncertain, but a strong candidate has long been some word related to the biblical, paint, a cosmetic eye shadow used by the ancient Egyptians and other inhabitants of the eastern Mediterranean. It could be any color black, red, green, or blue. Relationship to land plants Accordingly, the modern study of marine and freshwater algae is called either phycology or algology, 
depending on whether the Greek or Latin root is used. The name Fucus appears in a number of taxa. Most algae contain chloroplasts that are similar in structure to cyanobacteria. Chloroplasts contain circular DNA like that in cyanobacteria and presumably represent reduced endosymbiotic cyanobacteria. However, the exact origin of the chloroplasts is different among separate lineages of algae, reflecting their acquisition during different endosymbiotic events. The table below describes the composition of the three major groups of algae. Their lineage relationships are shown in the figure in the upper right. Many of these groups contain some members that are no longer photosynthetic. Some retain plastids, but not chloroplasts, while others have lost plastids entirely. Morphology Phylogeny based on plastid not nucleocytoplasmic genealogy Cyanobacteria Glaucophytes Physiology Rhodophytes Symbiotic algae Heterokins Lichens Cryptophytes Haptophytes Coral reefs Euglenophytes Chlorophytes Chorophytes Land plants Chlorarachneophytes Sea sponges These groups have green chloroplasts containing chlorophylls A and B. Their chloroplasts are surrounded by four and three membranes, respectively, and were probably retained from ingested green algae. Life cycle Chlorarachneophytes which belong to the phylum Circozo, contain a small nucleomorph, which is a relict of the algae's nucleus. Colonial, small, regular groups of modal cells, capsoid, individual nonmodal cells embedded in mucilage, coccoid, individual nonmodal cells with cell walls, palmaloid, nonmodal cells embedded in mucilage, filamentous, a string of nonmodal cells connected together, sometimes branching, parenchyma 2, cells forming a thallus with partial differentiation of tissues. Euglenids, which belong to the phylum Euglenozoa, live primarily in fresh water and have chloroplasts with only three membranes. The endosymbiotic green algae may have been acquired through mysocytosis rather than phagocytosis. These groups have chloroplasts containing chlorophylls A and C, and phycobilins. The shape varies from plant to plant, they may be of discoid, plate-like, reticulate, cup-shaped, spiral, or ribbon-shaped. They have one or more pyrenoids to preserve protein and starch. The latter chlorophyll type is not known from any prokaryotes or primary chloroplasts, but genetic similarities with red algae suggest a relationship there. 5,000 species of red algae worldwide, some 1,300 in Australian seas. 400 seaweed species for the western coastline of South Africa, and 212 species from the coast of KwaZulu-Natal. Some of these are duplicates, as the range extends across both coasts, and the total recorded is probably about 500 species. Most of these are listed in List of Seaweeds of South Africa. These exclude phytoplankton and crustose corallins. 669 marine species from California, 642 in the checklist of Britain and Ireland. In the first three of these groups, the chloroplast has four membranes, retaining a nucleomorph in cryptomonads, and they likely share a common pigmented ancestor, 
although other evidence casts doubt on whether the heterocants, haptophyta, and cryptomonads are in fact more closely related to each other than to other groups. Numbers Distribution Ecology Cultural associations The typical dinoflagellate chloroplast has three membranes, but considerable diversity exists in chloroplasts within the group, and a number of endosymbiotic events apparently occurred. The Apicomplexa, a group of closely related parasites, also have plastids called apicoplasts, which are not photosynthetic, but appear to have a common origin with dinoflagellate chloroplasts. Linnaeus, in Species Plant Arum, the starting point for modern botanical nomenclature, recognized 14 genera of algae, of which only four are currently considered among algae. In Systema Naturae, Linnaeus described the genera Volvox and Corallina, and a species of Acetabularia, among the animals. In 1768, Samuel Gottlieb Mlin published the Historia Fulcrum, the first work dedicated to marine algae and the first book on marine biology to use the then new binomial nomenclature of Linnaeus. It included elaborate illustrations of seaweed and marine algae on folded leaves. W.H. Harvey and Lamura were the first to divide macroscopic algae into four divisions based on their pigmentation. This is the first use of a biochemical criterion in plant systematics. Harvey's four divisions are, red algae, brown algae, green algae, and diatomaceae. At this time, microscopic algae were discovered and reported by a different group of workers studying the infusoria. Unlike macroalgae, which were clearly viewed as plants, microalgae were frequently considered animals because they are often modal. Even the non-modal microalgae were sometimes merely seen as stages of the life cycle of plants, macroalgae, or animals. Although used as a taxonomic category in some pre-Darwinian classifications, e.g., Linnaeus, De Jusseru, Horaninau, Agassiz, Wilson and Casson, in further classifications, the algae are seen as an artificial, polyphyletic group. Throughout the 20th century, most classifications treated the following groups as divisions or classes of algae, cyanophytes, rhodophytes, chrysophytes, xanthophytes, basilariophytes, pheophytes, pyrophytes, euglenophytes, and chlorophytes. Later, many new groups were discovered, and others were splintered from older groups, Chorophytes and Glaucophytes, many Heterocantophytes, Haptophytes, and Chlorarachneophytes. Uses With the abandonment of plant-animal dichotomous classification, most groups of algae were included in Protista, later also abandoned in favor of Eukaryota. However, as a legacy of the older plant life scheme, some groups that were also treated as protozoans in the past still have duplicated classifications. Some parasitic algae were originally classified as fungi, sporozoans, or protistans of insertisetes, while others had their relationship with algae conjectured early. In other cases, some groups were originally characterized as parasitic algae, but later were seen as endophytic algae. Some filamentous bacteria were originally seen as algae. Furthermore, groups like the apicomplexans are also parasites derived from ancestors that possessed plastids, but are not included in any group traditionally seen as algae. The first land plants probably evolved from shallow freshwater carophyte algae much like Chara almost 500 million years ago. These probably had an isomorphic alternation of generations and were probably filamentous. 
Fossils of isolated land plant spores suggest land plants may have been around as long as 475 million years ago. Agar Alginates Energy source A range of algal morphologies is exhibited, and convergence of features in unrelated groups is common. The only groups to exhibit three-dimensional multicellular thalli are the reds and browns, and some chlorophytes. Apical growth is constrained to subsets of these groups, the fluoridiophyte reds, various browns, and the chorophytes. The form of chorophytes is quite different from those of reds and browns, because they have distinct nodes, separated by internode stems. Whirls of branches reminiscent of the horsetails occur at the nodes. Concept eccles are another polyphyletic trait, they appear in the coralline algae and the Hildenbrand eels, as well as the browns. Most of the simpler algae are unicellular flagellates or amoeboids, but colonial and nonmodal forms have developed independently among several of the groups. Some of the more common organizational levels, more than one of which may occur in the life cycle of a species, are In three lines, even higher levels of organization have been reached, with full tissue differentiation. These are the brown algae, some of which may reach 50 m in length the red algae, and the green algae. The most complex forms are found among the green algae, in a lineage that eventually led to the higher land plants. The point where these non-algal plants begin and algae stop is usually taken to be the presence of reproductive organs with protective cell layers, a characteristic not found in the other algal groups. Many algae, particularly members of the Caraceae, have served as model experimental organisms to understand the mechanisms of the water permeability of membranes, osmoregulation, turgor regulation, salt tolerance, cytoplasmic streaming, and the generation of action potentials. Phytohormones are found not only in higher plants, but in algae, too. Fertilizer some species of algae form symbiotic relationships with other organisms. In these symbioses, the algae supply photosynthates to the host organism providing protection to the algal cells. The host organism derives some or all of its energy requirements from the algae. Examples are Lichens are defined by the International Association for Lichenology to be an association of a fungus and a photosynthetic symbiont resulting in a stable vegetative body having a specific structure. The fungi, or mycobionts, are mainly from the Ascomycota with a few from the Basidiomycota. They are not found alone in nature, but when they began to associate is not known. One mycobiont associates with the same phycobiont species, rarely two, from the green algae, except that alternatively, the mycobiont may associate with a species of cyanobacteria. A photobiont may be associated with many different mycobionts or may live independently, accordingly, lichens are named and classified as fungal species. The association is termed amorphogenesis because the lichen has a form and capabilities not possessed by the symbiont species alone. The photobiont possibly triggers otherwise latent genes in the mycobiont. Coral reefs are accumulated from the calcareous exoskeletons of marine invertebrates of the order Scleractinia. These animals metabolize sugar and oxygen to obtain energy for their cell building processes, including secretion of the exoskeleton with water and carbon dioxide as byproducts. Dinoflagellates are often endosymbionts in the cells of the coral forming marine invertebrates, 
where they accelerate host cell metabolism by generating immediately available sugar and oxygen through photosynthesis using incident light and the carbon dioxide produced by the host. Reef building stony corals require endosymbiotic algae from the genus Symbiodinium to be in a healthy condition. The loss of Symbiodinium from the host is known as coral bleaching, a condition which leads to the deterioration of a reef. Green algae live close to the surface of some sponges, for example, breadcrumb sponge. The alga is thus protected from predators, the sponge is provided with oxygen and sugars which can account for 50-80% to 80 of sponge growth in some species. Rhodophyta, Chlorophyta, and Heterocantophyta, the three main algal divisions, have life cycles which show considerable variation and complexity. In general, an asexual phase exists where the seaweed cells are diploid, a sexual phase where the cells are haploid, followed by fusion of the male and female gametes. Asexual reproduction permits efficient population increases, but less variation is possible. Commonly, in sexual reproduction of unicellular and colonial algae, two specialized, sexually compatible, haploid gametes make physical contact and fuse to form a zygote. To ensure a successful mating, the development and release of gametes is highly synchronized and regulated, pheromones may play a key role in these processes. Sexual reproduction allows for more variation and provides the benefit of efficient recombinational repair of DNA damages during meiosis, a key stage of the sexual cycle. However, sexual reproduction is more costly than asexual reproduction. Meiosis has been shown to occur in many different species of algae. The algal collection of the U.S. National Herbarium consists of approximately 320,500 dried specimens, which, although not exhaustive, gives an idea of the order of magnitude of the number of algal species. Estimates vary widely. For example, according to one standard textbook, in the British Isles the UK Biodiversity Steering Group report estimated there to be 20,000 algal species in the UK. Another checklist reports only about 5,000 species. Regarding the difference of about 15,000 species, the text concludes, it will require many detailed field surveys before it is possible to provide a reliable estimate of the total number of species. Regional and group estimates have been made, as well. And so on, but lacking any scientific basis or reliable sources, these numbers have no more credibility than the British ones mentioned above. Most estimates also omit microscopic algae, such as phytoplankton. The most recent estimate suggests 72,500 algal species worldwide. The distribution of algal species has been fairly well studied since the founding of phytogeography in the mid-19th century. Algae spread mainly by the dispersal of spores analogously to the dispersal of plantae by seeds and spores. This dispersal can be accomplished by air, water, or other organisms. Due to this, spores can be found in a variety of environments fresh and marine waters, air, soil, and in or on other organisms. Whether a spore is to grow into an organism depends on the combination of the species and the environmental conditions where the spore lands. Nutrition Pollution Control The spores of freshwater algae are dispersed mainly by running water and wind, as well as by living carriers. However, not all bodies of water can carry all species of algae, as the chemical composition of certain water bodies limits the algae that can survive within them. Marine spores are often spread by ocean currents. 
Ocean water presents many vastly different habitats based on temperature and nutrient availability, resulting in phytogeographic zones, regions, and provinces. To some degree, the distribution of algae is subject to floristic discontinuities caused by geographical features, such as Antarctica, long distances of ocean or general land masses. It is, therefore, possible to identify species occurring by locality, such as Pacific algae or North Sea algae. When they occur out of their localities, hypothesizing a transport mechanism is usually possible, such as the hulls of ships. For example, Ulva reticulata and Eufasciata traveled from the mainland to Hawaii in this manner. Polymers Mapping is possible for select species only, there are many valid examples of confined distribution patterns. For example, Clathromorphum is an arctic genus and is not mapped far south of there. However, scientists regard the overall data as insufficient due to the difficulties of undertaking such studies. Bioremediation Pigments Stabilizing substances Bibliography General Regional Algae are prominent in bodies of water, common in terrestrial environments, and are found in unusual environments, such as on snow and ice. Seaweeds grow mostly in shallow marine waters, under 100 m deep, however, some such as Navicula pennata have been recorded to a depth of 360 m. The various sorts of algae play significant roles in aquatic ecology. Microscopic forms that live suspended in the water column provide the food base for most marine food chains. In very high densities, these algae may discolor the water and outcompete, poison, or asphyxiate other life forms. Algae can be used as indicator organisms to monitor pollution in various aquatic systems. In many cases, algal metabolism is sensitive to various pollutants. Due to this, the species composition of algal populations may shift in the presence of chemical pollutants. To detect these changes, algae can be sampled from the environment and maintained in laboratories with relative ease. On the basis of their habitat, algae can be categorized as aquatic terrestrial, aerial, lithophytic, halophytic, semen, thermophilic, cryophilic, epibiont, endosymbiont, parasitic, calcifilic or lichenic. In classical Chinese, the word is used both for algae and for literary talent. The third island in Kunming Lake beside the Summer Palace in Beijing is known as the Zhejiang Tang Dao, which thus simultaneously means Island of the Algae Viewing Hall and Island of the Hall for reflecting on literary talent. Agar, a gelatinous substance derived from red algae, has a number of commercial uses. It is a good medium on which to grow bacteria and fungi as most microorganisms cannot digest agar. Alginic acid, or alginate, is extracted from brown algae. Its uses range from gelling agents in food, to medical dressings. Alginic acid also has been used in the field of biotechnology as a biocompatible medium for cell encapsulation and cell immobilization. Molecular cuisine is also a user of the substance for its gelling properties, by which it becomes a delivery vehicle for flavors. Between 100,000 and 170,000 wet tons of macrocystis are harvested annually in New Mexico for alginate extraction and abalone feed. To be competitive and independent from fluctuating support from policy on the long run, Biofuels should equal or beat the cost level of fossil fuels. 
Here, algae-based fuels hold great promise, directly related to the potential to produce more biomass per unit area in a year than any other form of biomass. The break-even point for algae-based biofuels is estimated to occur by 2025. For centuries, seaweed has been used as a fertilizer, George Owen of Henle's writing in the 16th century referring to driftweed in South Wales. This kind of ore they often gather and lay on great heaps, where it heth and rotteth, and will have a strong and loathsome smell when being so rotten they cast on the land, as they do their muck, and thereof springeth good corn, especially barley. After spring tides or great rigs of the sea, they fetch it in sacks on horseback us, and carry the same three, four, or five miles, and cast it on the land, which doth very much better the ground for corn and grass. Today, Algae are used by humans in many ways, for example, as fertilizers, soil conditioners, and livestock feed. Aquatic and microscopic species are cultured in clear tanks or ponds and are either harvested or used to treat effluents pumped through the ponds. Algaculture on a large scale is an important type of aquaculture in some places. Merle is commonly used as a soil conditioner. Naturally growing seaweeds are an important source of food, especially in Asia. They provide many vitamins including, A, B1, B2, B6, niacin, and C, and are rich in iodine, potassium, iron, magnesium, and calcium. In addition, commercially cultivated microalgae, including both algae and cyanobacteria, are marketed as nutritional supplements, such as spirulina, chlorella, and the vitamin C supplement from Dunaliella, high in beta-carotene. Algae are national foods of many nations, China consumes more than 70 species, including fat choy, a cyanobacterium considered a vegetable, Japan, over 20 species, Ireland, Dulce, Chile, Cochayuyo. Laver is used to make laver bread in Wales, where it is known as baralor, in Korea, Jim, in Japan, nori, and aonori. It is also used along the west coast of North America from California to British Columbia, in Hawaii, and by the Mori of New Zealand. Sea lettuce and batter locks are salad ingredients in Scotland, Ireland, Greenland, and Iceland. The oils from some algae have high levels of unsaturated fatty acids. For example, pariatochlorus incisa is very high in arachidonic acid, where it reaches up to 47% of the triglyceride pool. Some varieties of algae favored by vegetarianism and veganism contain the long chain, essential omega-3 fatty acids, dicosahexaeonic acid, and icosapentaenoic acid. Fish oil contains the omega-3 fatty acids, but the original source is algae, which are eaten by marine life such as copepods and are passed up the food chain. Algae have emerged in recent years as a popular source of omega-3 fatty acids for vegetarians who cannot get long-chain EPA and DHA from other vegetarian sources such as flax seed oil, which only contains the short-chain alpha-linolenic acid. Agricultural Research Service scientists found that 60-90% of nitrogen runoff and 70-100% of phosphorus runoff can be captured from manure effluents using a horizontal algae scrubber, also called an algal turf scrubber. Scientists developed the ATS, which consists of shallow, 100-foot raceways of nylon netting where algae colonies can form and studied its efficacy for three years. They found that algae can readily be used to reduce the nutrient runoff from agricultural fields and increase the quality of water flowing into rivers, streams, and oceans. 
Researchers collected and dried the nutrient-rich algae from the ATS and studied its potential as an organic fertilizer. They found that cucumber and corn seedlings grew just as well using ATS organic fertilizer as they did with commercial fertilizers. Algae scrubbers, using bubbling upflow or vertical waterfall versions, are now also being used to filter aquaria and ponds. Various polymers can be created from algae, which can be especially useful in the creation of bioplastics. These include hybrid plastics, cellulose-based plastics, polylactic acid, and biopolyethylene. Several companies have begun to produce algae polymers commercially, including for use in flip-flops and in surfboards. The Alga Stichococcus bacillaris has been seen to colonize silicone resins used at archaeological sites, biodegrading the synthetic substance. The natural pigments produced by algae can be used as alternatives to chemical dyes and coloring agents. The presence of some individual algal pigments, together with specific pigment concentration ratios, are taxon-specific. Analysis of their concentrations with various analytical methods, particularly high-performance liquid chromatography, can therefore offer deep insight into the taxonomic composition and relative abundance of natural alga populations in seawater samples. Carrageenan, from the red alga Chandrus crispus, is used as a stabilizer in milk products.